super insane. I think Ray Kawakubo would be proud of me. The fashion trickery from Margiela, the genius Margiela. That's how I wanted want this skirt so, so, so bad. bad. I love avant-garde so much. Like who buys leather pants in the heat of summer here in Australia? Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Carl and welcome to another video. Please remember if you like avant-garde, you know where to find me at in Carl's Rating on Instagram. That is where I share most of my personal style, my looks and some random reposting. So today I want to do a video that I somehow neglected in the entirety of my whole channel. I just realized one thing that I don't love bottoms as much as I should. And by bottoms, I mean skirts and pants. So I will show you four pieces from the best avant-garde designers and we will try it on. It will be fun. But why don't I invest in a nice pant or skirt? See, if you love wearing boots and like me, your attention is fixated on the footwear, then I think the pants become the background of the outfit if that makes sense. So as an atonement for this shortcoming, I treated myself with some high fashion, conceptual and cerebral design that will hopefully take my outfit into a whole new level of self-expression. I buy these fashion pieces as a learning tool. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you guys if you wanna explore a new fashion experience. What better way to experience fashion by actually wearing their amazing designs. And the designers that I will be mentioning, some of them are even active in the fashion industry. So it's a bit sad. And in a way, this is my way of appreciating and giving them a good tribute of what they have contributed in the fashion industry, especially in the avant-garde scene. These are special pieces from past season, from past collection. I see myself as a collector and I buy the pieces that are special to me. In fact, I don't buy out of need because I have everything that I need. But once in a while, you encounter something that speaks to you in a different way. What I'm saying is at least I don't buy crappy clothes. And if you hate trends or simply if you don't follow trends, then I guess avant-garde is the way to go. Because it's true when they say that avant-garde fashion is immune to the chronicity of sickening fashion trends that is happening year in, year out. Join me as I try these four pieces from my favorite avant-garde designers. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot my accessories. So this is the Comme des Garçons skirt from the 2D 2012 collection. I talked about this collection from a previous video. And if you haven't watched it, I'll put the link down below. And I encourage you to please watch it. It's actually a really good one and I'm really proud of it. In that video, I showcased the same skirt, but in the gray version. It's the skirt that I was talking about. So I was supposed to get this black version, this black skirt from Bessier Collective. And I already paid for it because I got it for a good price. Three days later, Bessier told me that the skirt isn't available anymore, which made me heartbroken and annoyed for the most part and they told me that I'll be getting my refund but I don't want my refund I don't want my money I want the Comme des Garçons skirt I had dreams about this I actually envisioned what my outfit would be like I even planned the places where I'll be going with this outfit that's how I wanted this skirt so so bad long story short I was so annoyed that I jumped on this Japanese pre-owned website and then that's where I encountered this beautiful gray skirt from Ragtag Online it's more wintry in a way. I mean, I love this so, so much. Don't get me wrong, but I love black. And I'm at this stage of my life that I am downsizing my closet and making them curated. My goal is to make everything in black. But you know what? Two months after, I found this black version. Depop Australia of all places just goes to show that if you really want something, the universe will conspire with you to get what you want. You might be thinking I'm a crazy person, but this is actually one of my favorite collection from Comme des Garçons. It just speaks to me in a different level, maybe because there's a lot of like wearable pieces in that collection. And also, I just love the idea of paper dolls. Every piece in that collection is a dream. It's a high-waist skirt pant 
because it's very elaborate. It's a sculptural, structured pentagram detail. I feel like I need to wear something simple to balance everything out. It's so funny. I look funny in it. I want to wear this 2D skirt along with the 2D top that I got from the previous video. This is nice. I love avant-garde so much. I think this pants belong to a giant. Maybe I can wear this. This is not small. After I get pregnant, it said small. There's always a hack. And this is my hack. I think this is yet another case of it looked prettier in my brain than in real life. But anyway, that's okay because, you know, we make things work. It's actually drop crotch pants. Ta -da! If you follow avant-garde fashion, I know some of you or most of you would know about this amazing designer, Barbara Gungini. One avant-garde designer who I would say is underrated and an underdog among her contemporaries. Did you know that long before the terms like sustainability and upcycling became the forefront of fashion, Barbara Gungini on the other hand has done upcycling and repurposing back in the year 2000 for her debut collection. She's way ahead of her time. Hence, I am so happy that I found this biker pants. It is a rare gem. Well, what swayed me to purchase this archive piece from Barbara? is because I was super craving for the Rick Owens Bauhaus pants and I just could not get my hands on them. It is a great alternative, I would say. The pants is a zipper heavy design and it's also real leather. It's made from genuine sheep leather. Like the Bauhaus pants, it's not skinny, but it's not too baggy as well. And also look at the bent shape, the bent pattern. I love how the zips are strategically placed. They're is an onslaught of beautiful biker pants in the market but the annoying part is the zippers don't function whereas this one is the real deal let's count the zippers by the way um so first is this small guy right here and that's a tag from vestier collective this is the second zipper yeah it's not as deep as the bahas rick owens pants but you can put your phone your keys and these are my favorite part here because they can make the pants slimmer and tighter. The sorcery of these pants lies in the zippers. I'll show you how to make these pants more tighter and more snug. Sadly, I cannot find which collection it is from. I found this super dodgy, blurry photo on Google and I think that's the same pants. So I'll stop worshipping the pants for now and we'll try it on with a jacket, I guess, and see how it fits. I'm wearing my Rajwarani vest. This guy here, this is from Gareth Pugh. His works are generally remembered as theatrical and otherworldly. And also, I believe Gareth Pugh is still the main reason why I still wear skinny jeans, skinny pants with wedges. This has been my go-to uniform ever since. Well, let's talk about the pants. This pants is a work of art. The leather strips are made from lamb leather and it is stitched on top of a rayon and spandex base so comfortable it's almost like a legging but the good thing is it's got pockets and who doesn't love pockets right and also the lining is made out of silk it's so luxurious this is what you get from buying designer items but also it's pre-owned so 
we're not hurting anyone. There are still some Gareth Pugh pieces available around on Grail, The Real Wheel, or Vestir Collective. I would say his pieces are becoming more extinct. I encourage you to invest on a piece or two from Gareth Pugh. And I purchased this from The Real Wheel for a price of a Zara jacket. Definitely his pieces were made from the same factory as Rick Owens. I would say there is a lot of uncanny similarities in terms of pattern, the materials, especially the zippers. So let's try it on with a jacket. I mean, I would wear it as it is, but I think pants like these need a statement jacket. Gareth Pugh pieces work well with Rick Owens pieces as well. They just mesh together. I love the fact that this is just a simple skinny jean, but look closely and you'll see how special and unique this piece is. The hyper textural effect is what makes it special. And not to mention the degree of workmanship and craftsmanship that was employed to make this piece is, I could just imagine how expensive this full retail price for this pants was. Like I said, this leather paneling technique has been signature masterpiece, if you may. It's a recurring motif throughout his career. He created this magnificent geometric leather panels. It's an answer to the futurism that was highly in demand back in that era. Again, this pants would have been nice if I was like at least 5'8". Why did I stop growing? Last but not the very least is the designer that doesn't need an introduction. I love Margellus collections in his early days as a brand. The designs that he had back in the days have that incognito and risque sensibility. And now, up until now, I am still loving that kind of aesthetic. I mean, look at this. I am still loving the weird fashion, the weird side of fashion. And now I finally have this weird pants. The fabric is a double density fabric. It's made from viscose, so it's got two layers. This is like a legging material. And this panel here, this guy here, is made from like a thicker fabric, almost like the fabric that they use for jackets and pants and blazers. So this is the two layers of the pants. It's insane, you guys. Super insane. I was so extremely happy when I received this pants and I sourced it from a Japanese website. I'm actually gonna be talking about how I shop from Japanese pre-owned websites. I think it's worth sharing with you guys because I get a lot of requests from it and I think that would be really helpful and insightful for people who are looking into buying pre-owned. Shout out to Bliss Foster and Lizzie Lowe, they're the Margiela experts. Before I bought this, I messaged them on Instagram to ask them what collection these pants are from. And Lizzie referenced it's from 2010. For us, I think it's from 2007. That is potentially the same pants from that runway collection. And one aspect that shines through in any Margiela piece is the trompe l'oeil detail. The meaning of the word trompe l'oeil is actually an art technique that has been borrowed by fashion where a designer creates an optical illusion through a change in perspective, dimension, and placement. And that is the very perfect and clear example of this pants. It is an optical illusion. It's a trickery. It's a fashion trickery from Margiela, the genius Margiela. So this artful and cleverly made pants gives off the illusion that I am wearing any high boots, but I'm not because that's trompe l'oeil or maybe trompe l'oeil, optical illusion. And I'm super stoked. Speaking of which, he has done it in the boot version. It's called the trompe l'oeil knee-high boots. It features the tabby boots with this oversized cuff that when you wear it, it seems like you're wearing a pants over it. I think you need to be smart to really appreciate his vision. So I'm wearing this Margiela for H&M power shoulder blazer. Very tight. 
I look so snatched. So there you have it guys, we've reached the end of this video and thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. On my next video, we will be trying more weird clothes from Rick Owens or maybe I'm gonna do a shopping guide in Japan fashion marketplace. Have a great week ahead and I will see you in my next video. Bye!